Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So uh, this video is going to be short and I'm just going to explain the physical meaning or the physical feeling of uh, momentum. Okay, so I'm not going to go for the, what is that, the mathematical part or I'm not going to discuss any signs or all those things. Okay, I'm not going to discuss the conservation of momentum, nothing. Just going to make you to understand what is this momentum is. Okay. Sometimes uh, if I ask momentum, most of uh, the students will say mass into velocity, okay, Mo linear momentum, mass into velocity. But uh, what actually it is indicating, okay, like if you take any quantity, any property, you need to feel that property. How you can feel momentum? See, it's very easy for you to feel momentum compared to other properties also. It, it is difficult for you to feel uh, something like viscosity. Okay, maybe not completely difficult, but it is a bit difficult. But it's very easy for you to feel and it's very easy for you to understand momentum. But still, most of the students used to say mass into velocity is equal to momentum. P is equal to m into V. That's it. And what is this uh, momentum? Okay, let me explain to you clearly. And I'm not, uh, of course, this is a very basic term. Many of you would have already known it. So those who already known it, you can just skip the video. And I'm just doing this video for the students who doesn't know because I used to spot on few students who doesn't know what is mean by momentum. Uh, they doesn't know how to feel the momentum. So I'm just going to make you to feel the momentum in this video. So let us see that uh, without wasting any time, any more time. So insects, suppose let us take there is an insect. Okay, so you can consider a mosquito or you can consider uh, uh, any any insect, any any small insect. And let us assume that that insect is moving at a speed of 1 meter per second. So approximately 3.6 kilometer per hour. So in 1 kilometer, the insect can cover 3.6 kilometer. Okay, let us consider there is a person who is standing before uh, that insect and the insect is moving at 1 meter per second. What is going to be effect? What is going to be the effect if that insect comes and hits on the person? Effect will be almost zero, nil, nothing. He is not going to feel anything. The insect will come and hit and there's just he will do this and then he will walk off right so there is not much of an effect right there so there is not much of an effect there is no um, uh, much uh, what i could say um, um, many things to talk about that let us move to the next thing insect now it is moving at 20 meter per second which is approximately 72 kilometer per hour Instead of insect, if you take a bullet, okay, so bullet of a same dimensions or of a, of a same size, that is also let us consider it is moving at 72 km per hour and now the person is standing, okay, if the insects hit that person or if the bullet hit that person also, what will happen? Obviously, obviously the result, the effect is going to be uh, very high, right. Now coming to the next case, uh, let us take a truck, okay, the, a large truck, you can consider uh, weight to be some 1 ton or something like that, okay, 1 ton truck. Again, it is moving at 1 meter per second, that is 3.6 kilometer per hour and a person is standing there and if this truck moves at this speed and if it hits that person, what will happen? Obviously, it is going to affect, okay, it is going to affect, there is going to be some effect which is going to happen there. Now, the same truck moving at 72 kilometer per hour, that is 20 meter per second, what will happen? That person will become as a ketchup, right? Right, so the ultimately uh, the thing which I wanted to say here is momentum is something which is a combined effect of mass and velocity. We cannot define momentum properly. There is no proper definition of momentum, but I can, I can say, that say momentum as inertia in action or inertia in motion. See here mass was less, it is moving at less velocity. So the effect was very, very less. But here, even though the bullet's mass was less, but it is moving at a higher velocity, so the effect was very high. So momentum is simply inertia in motion or inertia in action. Combined effect of mass and velocity, okay, combined effect of mass and velocity, we can feel the momentum, but it is really hard for defining it. But I hope that you are able to feel it. Same way, here why momentum is more? Here why momentum is more? Because the effect of velocity is more, okay. so small mass, small mass, but large velocity. Here mass is also small, velocity is also small. So the effect was very less, so momentum is less. Here, large mass, large mass, less velocity, but still there is going to be 
high momentum right so effect is going to be really high and here mass is also high velocity is also high so obviously the effect will be uh, effect will be very high so simply inertia in motion or inertia in action so simply this is what we can it is just the definition for feeling for making you to feel okay not an exact definition there is no proper definition also for momentum the thing is you have to feel it okay so what is the final conclusion momentum is nothing but the combined effect of mass with velocity okay so the combined effect of mass with velocity even if one is more also there is there will be there is a there is a there, there will be huge effect which you are going to feel and that effect is something which we are going to name it as momentum i can give you one more example also just consider that you are standing here and uh, another person is standing in the first floor okay and one person is throwing a ball okay one person is throwing the rest from the first floor he is throwing a ball okay you can easily catch it okay obviously you will you will easily catch it you can you there is no issues at all but another person from the first floor let us consider that he is throwing some object which is very big for example uh, he is throwing a bed okay a complete table and all those things okay which is very very heavy and he is throwing to, throwing on to you so what you will feel obviously the effect is going to be very high because when i thrown a ball only velocity effect was more mass was less so mass combined with velocity is momentum right for ball mass is less but velocity is more it will have momentum but momentum will be less but if i throw a table as it is moving downwards its velocity will also increase and its uh, mass is also very high so that time momentum is going to be very uh, that time momentum is going to be very high so it will affect you there will be some effect which is going to happen due to inertia in motion or inertia in action and that is nothing but momentum